25 Important Rules to Answer in a System Design Interview Number 1. While dealing with a read-heavy system, it's good to consider using a cache. Number 2. If the requirement is low latency in the system, it's good to consider using a cache and CDN. Number 3. While dealing with a write-heavy system, it's good to consider using a message queue for async processing. Number 4. If we need a system to be asset complaint, we should go for RDBMS or SQL database. Number 5. If the data is unstructured and doesn't require asset properties, we should go for NoSQL database. Number 6. While dealing with complex data in the form of videos, images, files etc., we should go for blob slash object storage. Number 7. If the system requires complex pre-computation like a news feed, we should consider using a message queue and cache. Number 8. If the system requires searching data in high volume, we should consider using a search index, tries or search engine like Elasticsearch. Number 9. If the system requires to scale SQL database, we should consider using database sharding. Number 10. If the system requires high availability, performance, and throughput, we should consider using a load balancer. Number 11. If the system requires faster data delivery globally, reliability, high availability, and performance, we should consider using a CDN. Number 12. If the system has data with nodes, edges, and relationships like friend lists, and road connections, we should consider using a graph database. Number 13. If the system needs scaling of various components like servers, databases, etc., we should consider using horizontal scaling. Number 14. If the system requires high-performing database queries, we should consider using database indexes. Number 15. If the system requires bulk job processing, we should consider using batch processing and message queues. Number 16. If the system requires reducing server load and preventing DOS attacks, we should consider using a rate limiter. Number 17. If the system has microservices, we should consider using an API gateway, authentication, SSL termination, routing etc. Number 18. If the system has a single point of failure, we should implement redundancy in that component. Number 19. If the system needs to be fault tolerant and durable, we should implement data replication, creating multiple copies of data on different servers. Number 20. If the system needs user-to-user communication, bidirectional, in a fast way, we should consider using WebSockets. Number 21. If the system needs the ability to detect failures in a distributed system, we should consider implementing Heartbeat. Number 22. If the system needs to ensure data integrity, we should consider implementing checksum algorithm. Number 23. If the system needs to transfer data between various servers in a decentralized way, we should go for gossip protocol. Number 24. If the system needs to scale servers with add slash removal of nodes efficiently, with no hotspots, we should implement consistent hashing. Number 25. If the system needs anything to deal with a location like maps, nearby resources, we should consider using Quadtree, Geohash, etc. Thanks for watching.